Hello. It's nice to see you again. I'm just happy to see you. I get the feeling you're an authentic person. I like being around people like that. I don't like it when people pretend to be something they're not, you know? What you just said, it reminded me of something. It's too embarrassing to talk about. You don't understand. It's embarrassing. Thanks for understanding. We'll talk another time. Hello. It's nice to see you again. I've been giving a lot of thought to our last conversation. Not a big deal. The initial shock has passed. What you said about authentic people reminded me of a job I had back in college. I was a waiter at an authentic Tex-Mex restaurant. For one, it wasn't the least bit authentic. Secondly, it was where I had the most disgraceful experience of my life. I'm sorry, but I don't want to relive it. Let's just say I wasn't very authentic back then either. Thanks. I'll keep that in mind. Hello. It's nice to see you again. I do. I need to speak to you. I need someone to confide in, and for some reason I trust you. Can you keep a secret? Remember when I told you that I worked at an authentic Tex-Mex restaurant? And remember when I told you that neither the food nor I was authentic at that restaurant? When I took that job, I was told to fake a Mexican accent. I needed the money, so I did it. I'm still ashamed about it. I sold out my heritage. I projected a cliché Mexican stereotype so that some fat cat in Texas could buy another mansion for his trophy wife. I got what I deserved, though. This girl I was dating at the time came into the restaurant with her parents. That night was easily the most embarrassing moment of my life. I would do anything to go back in time and take that back. So, an authentic person like you must think I'm a real fake, huh? You're absolutely right. I'm at a loss for words. I knew I could confide in you. You could have condemned me for being fake, but you didn't. Thank you for being a friend when I needed one. 